What's up, you two? Super oh, luck here. And today we're going to be opening up a Yu Gi Oh! Pendulum Evolution First Edition Booster Box opening. And then we're going to ask you guys to check out the channel and subscribe for more epic Yu Gi Oh! videos. Alright, you guys. And continuing the summer madness, I want to thank our friends at Ultra with the beautiful No Game No Life playmat. And we'll bring out the uh, peach sleeves today for some epic cards inside. But basically, um, there's not too many hard cards to pull in this set from what I've seen. Um, you can basically get the full deck. So this this set is based on a uh, deck that came out in Japan and they decided to make it a booster box or a set and they added some extra reprinted foil cards and whatnot inside. And overall, it's interesting. Um, it's, it's, it's especially interesting if you like the Pendulum cards because this is pretty much like the, the last hoorah for the for the uh, Pendulum monsters and the Pendulum cards themselves because after this it's Link Summoning and I feel like Pendulums won't really get much support from here on out, but we'll see what happens. But yeah, so this is the the Pendulum set. Final call. Pendulum Evolution, Mystifying Magicians, first edition box. And uh, so we just got back from our little uh, Anaheim convention that we went to and so uh, we'll be continuing with the Summer Madness daily videos. A lot of you guys have been asking about what's going on with Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links and uh, how come I'm not able to get you know regular content out on playing that game at the moment. And it's basically because I don't have enough time and there's so many other different things that I want to do with Simply Unlucky and like how I'm redoing the studio and uh, doing the Simply Unlucky collection, doing Mega Mail videos, um, and then I still want to do regular opening videos for Simply Unlucky. And, I'm, and personally I enjoy you know doing those opening videos more than playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links and so I want to keep up that daily content with the opening videos more than I do with Duel Links and Duel Links also takes about you know an hour to three to five hours a day in order to keep up with the game and stay on top of it in order to give you guys like some quality content from playing the game I'm gonna need you know I want to be in King of Games I want to uh, have all the good cards you know all this kind of stuff and so it's just something that I can't commit to at the moment because it takes so much time but maybe I can do videos for you guys on uh, when new events come out but at the same time if I'm not keeping up with the game and playing constantly and regularly for hours a day um, you know I'll be behind you know those other youtubers out there that are giving you guys that quality content because they're playing the game so much so uh, as of right now you guys I, I may st I start a Duel Links channel later on or uh, I may do Duel Links videos every now and then but just uh, for a regular schedule for Duel Links, there's just I don't I don't have time at the t you know at the moment. It's that three to five hours a day or that hour to five hours a day, whatever it would be to play Duel Links. You know that's the free time I currently have, and you know I want to do something, go outside, do something else other than you know be making videos and playing video games you know all day. So uh, for summer madness, anyways. So you guys stay tuned um, for some more updates coming though. Like I said, simply like collection, the new studio, however we're doing that, and uh, some new channels coming up very soon. We're wanting to uh, kind of get everything going once July begins, so that's that's a few days from now. So be ready, you guys. All right. So Pendulum Evolution first pack. Here we go. These are the Pendulum. New, this is the new Pendulum structure deck that they made into a booster pack. We have the Time Pendulum Graph, Chrono Graph Sorcerer. Uh, we have Dragon Pulse Magician. Clifford Monolith as a super reprint in here. Dragon Pit Magician. So you see a ton of Pendulum cards. And like I mentioned before, this is kind of the, the last hurrah for Pendulums. I mean, I think they'll still get some support here and there in the newer sets coming up, but just nothing like what's going to be happening for the new Link Summoning. Um, here is the Astrograph Sorcerer. All their effects are very long, and uh, so I don't really want to go over each of the individual cards and their effects, but... The Astrograph Sorcerer, he's pretty dang good in the set here. White Wing Magician. Dharma Eye Magician. And then you have the Metal Foes, Crimsonite. Time Gazer Magician is in here, super rare. Overall, though, there's not really any cards that stand out above the rest. Um, each individual each individual card has a pretty, pretty much the same pooling ratio, or each ultra rare from what I've seen, so... If you guys are wanting to collect this this set or this pack or this structure deck, I guess that they put into a box, um, it's pretty simple. I think you can most everyone has gotten like what they've wanted with like one box. You'll definitely get it with two. Um, some people said they even got it with just a few packs, like six to twelve packs. So, all right, Astrograph Sorcerer again, Time Star Magician. This is a 
four ex four, a four rank exceeds monster. And uh, I'll read this guy. Two le level four pendulum uh, magician monsters. Must be exceeds summon. Once per turn, you can detach one exceeds mature from this card to add one dark spellcaster type monster from your deck to your hand or face up from your extra deck once per turn. If a pendulum monster cards in your monster zone or pendulum zones will be destroyed by battle or by card effect, you can send one spellcaster type monster from your deck to the grave instead. So really good card here, Time Star Magician. May be able to see some playing some regular magician decks. Odd Eyes, uh, Meteor Burst Dragon. And then we have uh, Stellar Knight, Zephra's Saiten. So you got the Zephra cards in here still. And a Tuning Magician. Okay, next pack, here we go. We have Star Pendulum Graph. So it's two Ultras per pack, and then, uh, is it three Supers? Black Fang Magician. A four star Dark Spellcaster, or Magician. Pretty cool. Of course, the Magician cards usually look pretty awesome, but yeah, yeah, they're all right. Uh, it's full Cots Cannon. Uh, here is the Super Rare Performa Pal Skull Crobat Joker. Nice Super Rare. And then Doomstar Magician. I always think that guy looks awesome. So we'll see how many uh, Skull Probat Jokers we get from one box. So you guys, remember to post in the comments below what you think of this set and and then putting it as a, uh, making it as a booster box instead of like a structure deck. Astrograph Sorcerer and Chronograph Sorcerer in the same box, or in the same pack, that's cool. Rescue Hamster, Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon, super rare as a reprint. That's that's interesting. Enlightenment Paladin. Um, so everyone's saying that this set's much better than Dimensional Guardians, but still value-wise, there isn't much value, um, like individual card value in this set. But there's still if each card can be worth a dollar or whatever. So <laughs> that's cool, I guess. Astrograph Sorcerer, another st Time Star Magician, very nice. And then we got the Super Red Dragon's Mirror. That's awesome. Noble Dragon Magician, and Lector Pendulum, the Draco Overlord. So, let's see how many Dragons and Mirrors we get inside here. Yeah, I think definitely we'll get every card in the set and multiples of each card. White Wing Magician, another Time Star Magician. Okay, I'll take all the Time Star Magicians. Let's see how many of those we get. Um... Odd Eyes Fusion Super Rare. That's that's interesting. Odd Eyes Absolute Dragon and Oof Dragon Magician. Oof. Uh, a few packs left on this side. Double Iris Magician. Astrograph Sorcerer again. That's like number four or five. Jeez. Double Iris. Rescue Hamster. Odd Eyes Vortex. So again. A lot of duplicates at this point. So let's see if we can get any new ultra rares. I think we're missing a couple still. Time Pendulum Graph. Purple Poison Magician. Got that purple poison going on. Metal Foes Crimson Knights. Time Gazer. Pendulum Shift. Okay. Another Time Star. Jeez. Uh, Black Fang Magician. Odd Eyes Fusion. Odd Eyes Absolute. And Oaf Dragon. I feel like some of these packs have like the same cards in them. Star Pendulum, Black Fang Magician, Zephyraxi, the Treasure of the Yang Zang, Time Breaker Magician, and Dharma Eye Magician. Zephyranis, Yang Zang. And for the right side, Purple Poison, Time Pendulum Graph, Ritual Beast Tamer, Zephyr Wendy, and Stargazer Magician. Isn't there isn't there a cool story behind the Zephyr monsters? I think. You guys may have mentioned that before. Double Iris Magician. Double, ooh, a double, double Iris Magician in the same pack. How often do you see that? Maybe it's all double Iris Magicians. Okay. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I don't think you'll see that very often. Dragon Pulse Magician. This is a this girl, right? That's pretty cool. Dragon Pulse. No, never mind. It's definitely not a girl. It's a boy magician that has the gift of seeing natural lines of energy. Clifford Monolith, that's our first one. And then Dragon Pit Magician. Clifford Monolith. 
Still only one Namir, one Skull Grow Badge Ogre. White Wing, Pungel McGrath, Dragon Pit. Oh, we haven't got a Summoner Call, or Summoner's Art. That should be in here as a reprint. Harmonizing Magician, there we go. Black Fang, I think that's our first Harmonizing. Metal Foes Counter, Zephyr Divine Strike. That Zephyr. Black Fang, jeez. Kind of like, oh, there it is, finally. An Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. Super rare. So, was this card Ultra in the structure deck? And then it was like uh, Starful Will, other than that. So, this is the first super rare printing of it. So, that's pretty interesting. Odd Eyes Metal Meteor Burst. Magical Abductor. So, cool reprints over there. Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. Double Iris, harmonizing. Master Pendulum, the Draco Slayer. Clifford Scout, super rare, that's funny. So, I'll get those Pendulum reprints inside of here. Black Fang, Magician Time, Magic. Amazing Pendulum, Dharma Eye, Magician. All right, where's the Summoner's Art? Another Time Star Magician. Pendulum Reborn, Rare Metal Foes, Bismugir. Another Black Fang, Double Iris, Little Foes Counter, Pendulum Storm. I feel like we're still missing a few super rares. Astrograph again, Chronograph, Pendulum Call. There we go. Is that our first one? Uh, so we got Pendulum Call Super, Pendulum Dragon. To add two Magician or Pendulum Monsters with different names from your deck to your hand. On as Pendulum Dragon and Guiding Ariadne. Nice to see her again. Pendulum Call. A few packs left. See if we can get that Summoner's Art. Sorry, that's our goal at this point. Zephyrindy, Stargazer, Stellar Knight, Zephyr Man. All right, come on. Give it to us, Kaiba! Here we go. Zephraxi, Oracle of Zephyr. Another Time Star Magician. Last pack of Destiny. Harmonizing. Purple Poison. Metal Foes. Master Pendulum and Clifford Scout. Alright. Intriguing. I think Summoner's Call is in here. Summoner's Art. Alright, so for a little recap here, we'll just kind of just zoom through the foils we pulled, which is the entire set, because the entire set is foil. Definitely a nice set, you guys, if you want. If you like pendulum cards and you want to reprint of some of your hard cards to find or just cards you don't see much of, it's definitely the set to buy for you if you're a pendulum fan. So you got Metal Foe cards in here, you got the Zephyr cards in here, the Magician cards, um, the Odd Eyes cards, you got the Draco Slay, a couple Draco Slayers, you got the Hypno Sister, Pendulum Sheath, got a Rescue Hamster. Just a lot of cards that would definitely be good in a few different Pendulum decks or combining them as one to create the ultimate Pendulum design. Harmonizing. White's Astrograph Sorcerer. We got like f seven of those. Harmonizing. We only got one uh, White Wing. White Wing? No, we got a couple. We got a few actually. Harmonizing Magician, White Wing Magician, Double Iris Magician. We got a double double Iris Magician in one pack. Black Fang Magicians. Chronographs. So the ultra rares are most of the newer cards for, from the what would have been the structure deck. So awesome, lots of cool magician cards. Got those time star magicians. Time magic. And uh, just some cool super rare reprints over here. Got the Cliff Fort Monolith, Pendulum Call, Otis Pendulum Dragons, Skull Corvette Joker, Dragon's Mirror. Very nice. Definitely an interesting way to do things. I don't feel like Konami has done this very often, so let's get some of these new cards up front here. Alright, you guys. So once again, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content and post in the comments below once again what you guys think of uh, how Konami ended up doing this new Pendulum Evolution booster box instead of releasing it as a structure deck. And uh, if it's the last hurrah for for Pendulum Monsters, or you guys think they'll continue to get a good amount of support. 
Um, and are you guys excited for the new Link Summoning? I'm, I'm interested to hear you guys' opinion on that. And then once again with uh, Duel Links content, you guys. Um, so as of right now, we won't be doing as much Duel Links um, just because I don't have the time to produce it at the moment. But as we get through Summer Madness, maybe we'll be able to produce some more videos of that or start a new channel for it. But I'll keep you guys updated. And simply, oh, a lucky signing out.